Thank you, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's great to be here in, in Halifax. It's great. Actually, it's great to be in Canada. Uh, I've been working a lot in, in the States lately, so it's, uh, it's nice to, to come back. And the board, if you notice the border is way different, like uh, it used to be in the old days, they wanted us coming into the States, right? Americans were like, oh, come on into our country. We'd love to have you. Hang on, is that fruit? Put it down, is that fruit? <laughs> Put down your oranges. Put down your South Florida oranges from Canada. But it's changed now, right? Like, they, they're, not, they're not as happy. Like, now they're always mad. Have you noticed that? They're mad every single... I tried to lighten up last time I went through. The guy's like, so you're a comedian? I was like, yeah, yeah, that's right. So, uh, so what are you going to be talking about? I was like, I don't know. Depends how well this goes. <laughs> don't say that. Don't, uh, don't. And don't do this either. It looks like a gun. It, Crazy. It's an absolutely true story. I was crossing the border. It's like a couple years ago now, and um, I get to the I get to the, the uh, I get to the border. I hand the guy my passport. He takes it. He scans it through the machine. First thing he said after he scanned it through the machine, "Don't make any sudden movements." <laughs> right? I was like, oh, okay. And then he's like, "Shut up the vehicle and give me the keys too." So I was like, okay. So I, I shut up the vehicle. I, I hand him the keys slowly, right? Because he said no sudden movements. You know, here come the keys. <laughs> Nice and slow. <laughs> I'm crouching like this. <laughs> Take the front seat out of the car. I get a good quad workout when I'm driving. That's why I save so much gym time. I. So then he said to me, in a couple of moments, I'm going to ask you to get out of the car. And when you do, if you make any sudden movements at all, we're going to take you to the ground. That's what he said, verbatim. Those are the words. And the reason he said a couple of moments, too, because he needs time for his armed buddies to come out and surround the car. I'm not going to make up the number for the story. By the time I got out, there were six of them surrounding the car. They didn't have guns drawn, they had their hands on their guns, you know, on their hips and ready to, ready to shoot a Canadian mode. You know, they all <laughs> been waiting to bag me a Canuck all week. <laughs> Again, I'm doing this. I don't know why I keep doing Should I shoot him or should I do a pirouette? I don't <laughs> So he opens the car door. I step out. Because uh, now, now I'm, I'm towering over this guy, right? So now I'm scared he's going to have like small man complex or something. You know? <laughs> Take the big guy down a peg or two. <laughs> <laughs> Right? So, so I'm like, everything's going to be okay. Everybody just calm down. <laughs> Take it easy. I won't hurt you. <laughs> now, what did you want to say? <laughs> he, he wasn't that short. I, I made that. He wasn't that short. He wasn't that bad. I was, but I, honestly, I was too scared. I just went to the back of the car. They, they actually shoved me down onto the hood uh, in the back of the, the, the back of the car in the hood. <laughs> it's a Porsche. I, uh, <laughs> Comedy has been good to me. Um, no, they shook me down and they handcuffed me behind my back. They grabbed me, they handcuffed me, and they grabbed me with the armed, the armed guard there and they took me to the customs office like I was some kind of wanted fugitive or something, right? Now I'm starting to get a little freaked out, right? This doesn't seem like a, like a routine stop anymore. Right? Imagine the people behind me, right? They're probably getting a little scared themselves, right? See this car pull up, people jump out with guns. They're probably getting a little freaked out themselves, you know? It's like. Eat the fruit, Lois, eat the fruit! <laughs> a banana, the last one was a banana. You need your potassium for jail. 
so they, they took me to the customs office, and, and, uh, and again, absolutely true story. I was in there for like maybe five seconds, right? Some guard walks all nonchalantly from behind the counter. He's like, oh, I guess this is a computer malfunction. You can just let him go. <laughs> and that was it. There's no explanation, no apology, no place to go change, nothing. <laughs> Boy, that fruit goes through you fast, doesn't it? I'm going to take this to the other side of the border. That's the only right thing to do. You guys have been amazing.